For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. We are broken and lost without him. It says in John 17, Jesus is praying to the Father and it shows Jesus' most precious desire. He says, Father, I want those you have given to me to be with me where I am, to see my glory. The glory you have given me because you loved me before the creation of the world. Father, though the world does not know you, I know you, and they know that you have sent me. I have made you known and will continue to make you known in order that the love that you have for me may be in them and that I myself may be in them. Jesus says in Mark 12, 30, to love the Lord God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. Jesus says, if you behold my glory and set your eyes on my face, you will get transformed. Psalm 24, 7 says, one thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. In John, he says that whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love Him and manifest myself to Him. It's all about love. God so loved us that when we were sinners, He gave His only Son. And when His Son was on the cross, He died and went through all the pain because He knew that it was worth it. He knew afterward that we would never be separate from Him anymore. He will be in us and us in Him and us in the Father. He just wants to be in relationship with us. Jesus has paid such a high price just to be with you like he was with Adam. He never wanted that to change. In Corinthians, he says, He made Christ who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf so that in him, we would become the righteousness of God. That is, we would be made acceptable to Him and placed in a right relationship with Him by His gracious loving kindness. His love accepts us as we are. We don't have to clean up. He already cleansed us at the cross. All we have to do is love Him and accept what He did for us at the cross. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. And when He is your Father, you can trust Him completely. And now you live a life fully in love with the Father as you get to know His heart that is so full of love for you. He has called you to be free. And that's the life He desires. In the Psalms, David says, I have seen you in the sanctuary. I have beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. Romans 5.5 5 says, God pours his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, whom he has given us. God promises that he will pour out his spirit upon our hearts. Jesus is saying to you, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. My encouragement to you is to follow after the heart of God. Now, if you haven't experienced the love of the Father, I want to pray with you. Father, in Jesus.
Jesus name I ask that you pour your love into your sons and daughters right now father you love them so much you've given your life up just to be with them I ask now that you take all the pain away from them in Jesus name father you said that you stripped yourself bare on the cross just to be with them and that you took all their pain you took all their sorrows you took all their torment you took all their depression and you destroyed the power of Satan and sin it is finished you have paid it all thank you father for pouring your love out on your sons and daughters as you promised in Joel 2:28, you will pour out your spirit 